Hey there, beer tubers. Fuck off. Hey there, beer tubers. Take five. Hey there, beer tubers. Welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Review with tonight's fifth and final review of the Picaroons Harvest Ale series. Fifth and final. Fifth and final. There's been, made all kinds of different there's, there's been four previous versions. We're going to take a look at Picaroons 2012 Harvest Ale, 5.5% ABV. This is the Lavin Hop batch, made with uh, Cascade hops and lavender. Wow. By the Lavin Hop Farms in New Brunswick. I can't remember Amazing. exactly where it is. Now, I've reviewed the four, the four previous versions of this on my own. This one here I wanted to share with these guys. Um, but the first one was Wismical Hops, which was really good. And then there was two batches from the uh, Happy Hop Yard, which was Nuggets and Cascades, which were eh. And then there was a decent one from South and Farms. This one here is the fifth and final. Lavin Hop Farms, let's pop it open and take a look because these guys are getting antsy. I'll give Fuzz the first little pour of this. Poison. Actually, they've had a chance to have a bottle of this already, so it's not too poisony, but it's, it, it's, almost not quite, it's almost not quite the same as uh, the other Harvest Ales. It's got a bit of a dark hue. Yeah. That it, usually means poison. You know what? It, look, it looks like the other the, the harvest ales. It looks and like that's the no harvest ales. <laughs> that's definitely no. <laughs> no. no, it looks like the other harvest ales. I will give it that. Yes. But it's got that like bright white head, the light amber body, uh, orange amber body appearance. Toujours la fervescence. Uh not a whole lot of Is carbonation. Stuff? You must be getting more carbonation. Stuff than me. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't mind. Yeah. I've got my laser etched glass, bitches. Bitches. Alright. My mine's, it's, mine's not, it's slightly hazy, but yeah. not a lot. Mine's it's hazy, but it different. doesn't look bad. Take a smell on it. It's got a very different hot profile than the other yeah. ones did. There's oh. like, almost like a little biscuity, little bready, and a little lavender soap. Yeah. It smells like cow patty. <laughs> yeah. That's harsh. Maybe that's a little harsh, but somewhat <laughs> accurate, maybe. <laughs> Um, it's definitely different, but you get a lot of that. It's almost like a blending of like biscuit and grapefruit, as well as yeah. as um, yeah. lavender soap. <laughs> Got that real. Did you wash your hands with my lavender soap again? <laughs> I used the Irish Spring this time. Okay. But you got it. it. It smells like some kind of designer soap that uses lavender. Of course, it is lavender. Fancy it. beer soap. You get your you get your bed real handy. No, the last one didn't kill me. If Garrison didn't kill me, I figure Pickering's probably. Yeah. Won't. Cool. All right. Smells good. On the hatch. Smells like good. Okay, it smells okay. I've had that issue with somebody. This wow. Is not, this, this is different. Is, this is very different than the other. I, oh, I yeah. had a I had a different harvest. It's it, much lighter. I think it was the south something or other. The south one. The smell yeah. is worse than the taste. See, I'm having the opposite reaction. Yeah. See that 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 pop profile. The the um, it's yeah. the it's the malt profile and the lavender that mixes together to give it almost like a big coriander taste. No, it's not even quite coriander. It's just herbal soap. Yeah. It's it's almost a little, a little, little lavender bit coriander almost. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. Herbal like floral it's, soap and and a bit of toasted grain. It's very light, almost a little pumpkin. -y. It's different. Not quite this. It's a lot lighter and a lot easier drinking than the other ones, but at the same time, it's got a very strange flavor profile. I find the body isn't as crisp either. Yeah, that could be just my psychological. However, to be however the fuzz is yum in this right now. What are you just saying? chowing down? The aftertaste isn't that great. You can really, you can really taste the lavender and the aftertaste. Yeah. You kind of want a, a tongue scraper. But uh, it goes down smooth. <laughs> Here's your tongue scraper. Tongue scraper. You've had that on your Chanel. <laughs> oh, I All right, let's give us some numbers here, folks. All right, so what do you think? You want to give us some thoughts here, Seth? I'm sorry I'm ignoring you. That's fine. You oh. can ignore me all you want on this one. It's fine. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think? I want to hear your thoughts now. Uh, I'm, I'm not liking the aftertaste. The, <laughs> the, the, the flavors just aren't mixing. And the smell's not doing it for me. There's nothing really making me want to go out and get this. No. This this does not pass for me. Really? This does okay. not pass. Well, number two is then. I'm gonna give it two. A two. Yeah, boom. It's See, fine. I, I don't hate it that much. 
Let's give it a uh, high. What do you think? Two. Zwei? Zwei. Eins, zwei, drei. Eins, zwei. <laughs> Eins, zwei. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah whoa. Especially compared to the other ones. Like, especially the Cascade and the Southam, like, they were both fantastic. Wow. And this is not. Mm. Yeah. Um, it is, it's soapy, it's creamy, it? it's... Zwei. I, I don't think it's horrible. I think it's weird, but it definitely is not the same as the rest of the Harvest Tales. Um, I'm going to give it a 275 just because it's a little bit better than average, but at the same time, it's a very weird deer. I'm going to echo your 275. You're going to echo my 275. Echo, echo. See you 275, yeah. Wow, well, all right. Well, cheers then. Cheers. Yeah. Not very often um, you, it's not very often you uh, this, agree with the folks. Boy, at this point, this is the only beer left in New Brunswick for the Harvest Tales, and I can understand why it's still on the shelf. It's not horrible, but it definitely does not hold the candle to the other batches, especially that absolutely wonderful Wisdom Hop version, which is damn close to a real English ASD. That stuff was really good. Did you like, you like that much? <laughs> All right, so thanks for watching Maxwell Stairs beer review of Pickaroon's Harvest Tales Lavin Hop Edition. If you see it, that's more beer than I got. Pick it up. It first sounded good to you, but really, it's meh. It wasn't even as good as the lavender honey from Garrison. Right? No. Yeah. All right, we'll talk to you folks later. Good night. Cheers. Yeah. We'll